what's up welcome back to my channel so i decided that i was going to start going through each portions of my makeup i've done many declutters i've gotten rid of so much makeup lately i mean like i still have a crap ton but i've gotten rid of so many and i just kind of wanted to share with you guys what i have left in each different section but obviously i do have to break it up because your girl has too much makeup will be here for six days today's video is going to be me showing you guys my lipstick color or my lip gloss collection so this is one container of lip gloss that i have and then this is the second one so if you guys are excited to see what lip glosses i kept what are my favorites then go ahead and keep watching okay so the way that i set these up in my drawer are in these little bins i got from target for like two dollars target so i have the higher end brands and then i have the lower end slash drugstore situation so i think i'm gonna go into the higher end with you first since it's right here so the first ones that i'm pulling out are my absolute favorite and i have almost every single one of them it is the Fenty Gloss Bombs. I have all of the original Gloss Bombs and then I have two of the Gloss Bomb Creams. So I do like the Gloss Bomb Creams. I do just find that they're a little bit more, I feel like stickier, if that makes any sense, than the regular Gloss Bomb. I just feel like it makes a little bit more of a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch this one because this one is my favorite one. Oh. Yes, yeah, so see how you gotta be careful because these wands get so much on them. You literally only need one dip and you're out the door. Also, please excuse the redness going on in my face. My eczema is acting up so bad. I need to go see a dermatologist. That's what I need. And I just keep avoiding the situation. So I do love these. These are actually my number one favorite lip glosses of all time. And I oh, could never get rid of them even if I wanted to. So the next things are actually lip balms. These are the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. And I have them in Canatonic, Bubble, and Nug. I absolutely love these because they're very sheer and just they're nice to wear they feel really really nice on the lips i had the original but i used it so often it's just gone like you don't get a lot you get a normal amount i guess for a lip balm but i used it so so frequently because i use lip balm all of the time that i just ran through it so fast but these are tinted so they're really nice they're not super pigmented or anything it's just like a nice little tint and then i have these lip balms with char the uji i think that's how you say it uji um sculpted lip oils so these were really really nice but these were really really expensive they were 90 dollars for four lip crayons now the only issue that i have with these are they are very nice balms so they're hydrating but because they are pigmented in a kind of weird way they pick up all of my flakiness like look at that so it's so good but it picks up like all my flakiness on my skin so i don't wear those too often but they are really really nice on the skin my second favorite lip gloss is lunar beauty i love his liquid lipsticks i love his lip gloss the only thing that i really would say i would change about these lip glosses is how they smell they do smell sweet but they smell like so sweet so much sugar up in there but i do like them they are really really pretty and the components are just the prettiest like this one's almost empty i have like this much left in here all right so the next brand that i have a super lot of is kylie cosmetics so if you're not new to this channel then you know like i was a humongous supporter of kylie cosmetics and i still really am i do like her brand i didn't find a lot of issues with the brand i know a lot of people don't like her so they automatically right off her brand i didn't have any issues the liquid lipsticks are still one of my favorite matte liquid lipstick i don't like i've had some palettes where i've had issues but for the most part they're not bad palettes they're decent they are fairly expensive but to be honest a lot of the upper brand makeup is expensive so i don't know i like her brands i love her lip glosses these are the i think these are the high gloss high gloss so this one is like almost empty this one is like almost empty like when i tell you i love these i love these so this one is so pretty this is the one that came with the kendall collab that she did these are definitely a thicker formula but it's so nice the only problem i would say between these and the other two that i said were my favorite you do have 
have to dip more than once to get the amount of gloss you want. So I just really, really like these. They smell really nice. So they are one of my favorites. On top of those lip glosses, I have the OG lip glosses, which are more less glitter, more pigmented lip glosses. I have like, and I'm not going to swatch all of these because it would just take forever. Glitz, which is like super glitter. It's probably one of the most shimmery, glittery, lip glosses I own and you don't really feel too much of the glitter part like the particles of it you do feel it a little bit but not as bad as you would think you would with as freaking shiny pigmented as it is so then I have literally so like literally so cute again the so cute color I just got them all when they all came out these are old and I just don't really use this color unless I'm using a darker lip liner and make like I said that ombre look and then this one is one of my favorite which is the main bay this is her and Kim's collab I believe but it is a beautifully pigmented gloss like this has pigment to it I just don't like the brushes they're not doe foots they're actual brushes and I don't like that so like this super pigment to it and then one of my favorite which is sugar plum and this one was the Coco and Kylie collab oh, I love this one and the lip color that came with it bunny so it's like just a pink shimmery it's so so pretty so i have these two lip balms from frank body i have a third one but it's actually downstairs in my work drawer and this is a lip t lip tint and then this is a lip balm i did a unboxing from morphe i'll go ahead and link up here so you guys can check those out then i have two kkw lip balms which i don't actually use very often i got it i think it was in the mario like collab and the colors just I don't know why I have these I actually think I'm gonna give these to my girl so those are the two colors it's actually more nude than this pink but I think my girls put this over their pink lipstick so this is the lipstick queen highway 66 lip balm I love this because it is temperature activated when it hits your lips it turns like an orangey pink color and then I have some Becca cosmetics ones which I don't really use either another Becca one. I'm giving I'm getting rid of this one I just don't this is such a pink oh oh actually I changed my mind I like this one <laughs> that's see what I mean this is why I can't get rid of anything am I just gonna have glitter around my mouth for the rest of the video yes I am it's just such a beautiful fun pink and it's like the only one of its kind in my collection so I'm not getting rid of it psych just kidding and then there is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Valentine's Day lip gloss I'm being honest this lip gloss isn't even that great it takes like a lot like you have to really dip in a lot that was three times I dipped in let me get just a clear Fenty gloss okay just one dip look at the difference like from one dip I just do not care for this one at all so I'm gonna give it to my girls all right so then I have house laboratories which I got this when she first ever released house labs and I'm just I'm not a fan it is a very glittery and chunky lip uh, lip gloss so I'm just I'm not a big fan of that one and then I have a Becca balm it's just literally what it sounds like it's just a balm has really no color to it and then I have a dose of colors and this is in Brillo. I think this came from the I love Sarahi collab actually dose of colors has one of the best smelling lip glosses in my opinion so pretty and then I have this balm which is negligee it is a sparkly lip balm from Huda Beauty and honestly there's like nothing there I'm like really caking it on there it's just a balm but it does kind of fade out my lips which is strange like it kind of makes them look washed out and then ah, these so these are the Fenty Beauty what were these these were the iridescent lip luminizers these are stunning we'll never get rid of these because of how beautiful these truly are like one swatch i use them as toppers more than anything or like if i did a no makeup makeup look you could even probably get away with using them as like a cream eyeshadow over i would say like a white cream and put it over that and now i will tell you three of them were for the day and then three of them were for the night like summer days and something that's what they were you're supposed to be able to use the lighter ones during the day and the more iridescent ones in the evening look at these oh my god guys seriously like these iridescent ones oh, are everything oh, look how purple this one is like these are just stunning 
stunning lip glosses. Absolutely, 110% could never get rid of, even if I wanted to. Drugstore brand. This video is getting longer than I wanted, so I'm gonna try to go quick. My favorite drugstore brand currently are the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. When I tell you these look so similar so these are not the original kkw packaging they are nude like these but this was in the mario collab but like that's how they just remind me of her aesthetic but these are much cheaper and they are so pigmented watch the only thing i don't like is they kind of smell like a banana boat if that makes any sense so i have stone and reef stone is my favorite like they're just so pigmented they're not super thi like thick. They're thick, but they're not super thick, and they are not sticky. And then I have the Avani lip glosses with Morphe. It was like a mini lip set. I'll go ahead and link that video up here for you guys. I just did that collab, so I'm not gonna swatch those. And then I have the Elf. I think they're mint, mint, mint melt lip plumping. These are okay. Again, you don't get a lot on the wand. You really have to keep dipping, but they're not terrible. And then I got these, which are the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oils. They were just something on TikTok that was like super, super like, oh my God, you have to have these. So I got a tinted one and then I got the clear ones. I actually had so many of these. It's not even funny. And the fact that these are bent now, that's such a weird thing because they were not bent before. So they're just glosses and lip oils really. So I have these so juicy lip um, glosses from Colourpop. And I think I'm going to get rid of them. I only say that because a lot of these are like separating like really bad. I don't know if you can see that. Like really separating in there. I don't know that they're even safe to really continue using. These were super, super sticky. I will tell you that. But they were super pigmented and they were super, super minty. So like my lips would definitely tingle. I don't know that it really plumped them, but they definitely tingled. And some more ColourPop lippy are these Lux ones. So these are really cute and really nice. I do like them. I just don't like the doe foot on this one. I think the doe foot is different on this. Nope. Nope. They're all just that flat doe foot. And again, you just don't get a lot out at one time. You're dipping several times. They're cute. I love the new little ones. These are the Lux ones. And then I have some Hello Beauty Cosmetics lippies. I got these from the small, the Black and Business haul that I did. And I'll link that up here for you guys. I really, really do like these. And they're so nice. Like they're so hydrating. They don't feel, and they smell like a Tootsie Roll. They don't feel like a gloss. They feel nourishing. So they're really cute. They're just tinted. And again, they're so soft. Like when I rub them on my lips, they just butter. So then I have these two e.l.f. sheer slick lip balm things. I had three of these. Addison took one downstairs. Emma ate it. So I only have two, but they're really, really cute. They're just like a little tint. And then I have these Morphe ones, which I've had forever. They came in a set. They're cute. I just really don't, I don't use them at all ever, but some of these are really pigmented. Look at that swatch. Holy moly. So then we have some Pixie. Actually, Pixie has one of my like favorite lip glosses. I like the formula. I like the pigment. I also like how they feel. Feel. This one is so cute. It's such a cute pink. So for being drugstore, they're so pretty and they're so minty. They're like a good minty though. And then I have this Plump Pout by Pop Beauty. These were sent to me as well as the Pixie ones. I didn't pay for these, but look at that. Oh, you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's beautiful. Some of these, I'll tell you what, they're stunning. So I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I do have, this is all one brand that I'm about to show you. Can we guess, can we guess before I show them? Take a guess, take a guess, take a guess. Three, two, one, ColourPop. The original glosses, I have some villain glosses in here. I have a lot of shimmers. I actually went through all of my ColourPop lips and got rid of all of the liquid lipsticks because to be honest, I don't wear them. I don't like them, but I have the villain collection in here. I have the I Love Sarahi collection. I have some from Bretman Rock. 
um it's just so it's so many like i just don't it's so many but basically the ones i kept are like the pretty iridescent -y, glowy ones so i really 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 do love those lip glosses and when i reach in here those are the ones that i grab the most i'm just gonna swatch literally a couple just because these are so there's so many so this is kumquat it looks blue but it really does come off so pretty on my lips when i do it over a nice pink liquid lipstick the villain ones are my favorite because they're very iridescent -y. and then this one is called paper moon so hypnotease and paper moon like look at those that shimmer oh i'm obsessed and they're very inexpensive that is one thing i will give them the only thing is again they have the brush component and not the doe foot i think they used to have the doe foot i don't know what happened to it Yep, they used to have the doe foot. This one's old. I could swatch these all day. So those are just some examples. These are just really, really pretty glosses. They're very inexpensive. I like the formula. I like how they wear. And the pigment is usually through the roof. So the last ones I want to show you guys in my collection are the Morphe Lip Toppers. I got these a long time ago. I got 12 of them. And these are the only ones I kept because these are the only ones that had like pigment. The rest of them were just kind of clear and shifty looking. But these they came with a collection i don't remember what collection it was but these are stunning like there is not a lip topper that can beat these if there if you think you had no one go ahead and leave them down below because i even like the fenty ones but not even they have this pigment and i'm about to show you these and these are one dip situations okay one dip on your lip look at that oh my god like these are phenomenal absolutely stunning absolutely pigmented no sheerness they're just so good i really really love them so but that is it for my lip gloss collection guys i hope you liked me going through them with you if you did make sure you comment down below what section of my makeup you want me to go through next i'm kind of glad i did because i wanted up getting rid of like four or five lipsticks so that's exciting actually more because i'm not using those anymore either so but i hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel and i will see you guys on the next one bye